Hello BSS, welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Brenda. I do paranormal videos here on my channel along with makeup videos and vlogs, etc. So if that is something that you are interested in, please consider subscribing down below and turn on your post notifications so you do not miss when I post another video like this one. Now with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Alright you guys, as you can see by today's title, I will be reading some more paranormal stories that you guys submitted, my subscribers, so I hope that you guys are excited to hear those today. And as always, thank you so much to those who have been sending in stories. And if you want to send in your paranormal stories, the best way to do that is through my email, which is beyondbsaparanormal at gmail.com. That is the easiest way to send them in. I don't usually check any other sources. Usually it is just my email just because they are all compiled in one section and I don't have to be switching back and forth between different sources. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into story number one. Let me go ahead and pull up my email. Also, I'm trying to hide my broken nail, but it's inevitable. People... Why did I say it like that? It's inevitable. People are going to see it because I talk with my hands a lot and I can't help it. Okay. Anyway. Let me pull up my Gmail. Also, let me show you guys real quick. I changed the theme on my phone. It's so freaking cute. I love it. Oh, I hope that doesn't mess up the lighting. Alright. So, first one. It says, Hello, my name is Amelia. Before I start, my family members have encountered many ghosts or demons, as they say. They saw scary things. It was either when my mom was pregnant with me or when I was born. They probably mainly saw things in the basement. This one time, my mom forgot my bottle in the basement because that's where she did the laundry. While well, she went to go get my bottle and in the corner near the washer, she saw a black figure shaped like a little girl. She didn't do anything, but she was just there. She ran up the stairs after that. And anyway, here is my paranormal story. Okay, so she wants to give us a little background of people and her family also witnessing stuff. And here is her paranormal story. Before I start anything, my grandpa would stay at this hospital place, but would come and visit my grandma, and at the time I was there, he was at my grandma's house. My parents and my older sister went to this convention and left my older brother, younger brother, and me at my grandma's house. My brother slept in my grandma's room, which was upstairs, and since she had a spare bed down in the basement, I slept there with her. She did have another room, but it was my uncle's. The bed was in between the wall and my uncle's room. Anyway, I woke up this one morning and I realized that my grandma wasn't in bed with me anymore. So I was about to go upstairs when I saw this black figure shaped like my grandma that was walking back and forth. It was strange because the light from downstairs was on and you could clearly see everything but the figure was still very dark. Watching him walk it back and forth confused, I called out, Abuelito? No answer. Abuelito? Abuelito? No answer. I was very confused. So I guess she thought this was her grandpa? Oh yeah, so the shape was, sh the figure was shaped like her grandpa, not her grandma. I was very confused. I came up with a plan on how to go upstairs. When he was at the end of the hall, I would run upstairs. My uncle's room was blocking my view, so I got the end of my bed and made sure he was at the end of the hall. And when he was, I chickened out and saw him coming back. So I went back under the covers and I did it again, made sure he was at the end of the hall. And when I saw him at the end of the hall, I threw the covers over and ran up like any little kid would, with all fours up the stairs and I didn't turn back. When I saw my grandma in the kitchen, I was relieved, but then I saw my grandpa on the couch. I don't know how I still remember this since I was just a little kid and I'm now 15, but there was, there was my paranormal story. Hopefully you like my story and it didn't get too confused while reading while reading it. I love you. I love you too, girl, and thank you for sending in this story. So 
let's just do a little recap real quick so if you guys got a little bit confused there in the way that I was reading it and so on so what happened was that she just saw a black figure who was shaped like her grandpa but it wasn't him because obviously if there is light in the room there is no reason for somebody to look like they're in a sh in a shadow or they're shadowed so definitely had to be some kind of demonic presence that was trying to mimic your grandpa in order to gain your trust somehow but obviously when you feel threatened by something and you know that you should recognize this as being your grandpa and they didn't react at all when you were calling out their name definitely has to be something evil of some sort but i think it's just so scary i don't think i would be able to try and pass by it because obviously he was in the way of getting up the stairs is what i got from this and you were you kind of just threw the covers over it and just booked it up the stairs i would probably do the same but i don't know if i would be brave enough uh, that's basically what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah still very creepy and i enjoyed it and thank you for sending that in now let's go ahead and move on to story number two this one they titled it a witch tried taking me when i was a baby all right and this one was sent to me by maria i don't know if i should say her last name but maria is the first name it says hey Bayesa, i hope you're doing good i love watching your videos and i have a story you could probably share this event happened to my mom when i was a baby and she told me about it so it started off when my dad decided to go somewhere with my uncles in the night and nobody was home besides me and my mom one of my mom's brothers lived with us at the time but during the time it happened he was working so it was only us while my dad was gone my mom was with me in her room laying on the bed all the lights were off from the living room to the kitchen and the hallway as well as her room the only thing she had on was her stereo playing music when all of a sudden the doorknob from her room starts moving like someone trying to open the door but the door was never locked it was only closed so it was possible to open it she said they were forcing to open the door on her but they weren't able to but after all that happened she heard an owl outside and as legends go whenever you hear that it means a bruja is around or evil she started praying and while doing that, the doorknob that was moving had stopped. The apartments that this happened in always had history of evil and witches flying on top of the roof. People say they would hear them in the night and I got to see one when I was around 5 on top of the roof of on a building right across the parking lot. The next day after my mom had experienced that, she told one of my aunts that is no longer with us what had happened and she told her to always keep a light on in the night and a cup of water beside the entrance of the house because something about that keeps evil away from entering your home i have another story but i can tell you that another day i personally only had one not so very paranormal encounter but it's very creepy if you'd like to hear that one let me know and i hope you get to read my story and share it in a video thank you Thank you, girl. And I would love to hear your story as well. If you end up wanting to submit that, I would really enjoy it. That was really creepy. I have heard and covered about the Lechusa legend as well. So it is very creepy that that happened to you and your mom. She was most likely trying to steal you because that is what they do. And the good thing that your mom didn't try and go open the door or anything because, you know, who knows what could have happened if you guys believe in lechuzas witches whatever and you know what happens if you know if she were to open the door no ma'am not today yeah really interesting story really really creepy as well and also the only question i had was where was this like was this in the united states like where did you guys live and not not exactly like the address but where was this located especially if you say that there has been a history of witches being spotted in this area i would be really curious on looking more into that and seeing what i could find i think that whole thing is super interesting and as it goes with um in mexican culture we just um, always have believed in witches and as i said i have covered this um 
topic on brujas or lechuzas and I will link it um, whichever one that I pops up in if you guys haven't watched that one yet but yeah thank you so much girl I really did enjoy it and as I said I would love to hear your other story as well okay so let's go ahead and move on to story number tres and this is from somebody we have heard before. This is from Stephanie. And I have read one of her other videos. Or not one of her videos. I have read one of her other stories in one of my other videos. Excuse me. I am filming. <laughs> so it's always ambulances passing. My foot is asleep. What is new? I need to get like a mini chair to sit on here. Because my foot's always falling asleep. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't feel it. Okay, um, so as I said, as you guys know, I have um, read her story before and she said that she would give us an update because everybody was like, girl, all of that happened within one week to you? That's crazy. I don't think I would be able to deal with that much paranormal activity. So <laughs> this is her again. She's writing into me. It says, hi, it's me, Stephanie again. I'm here to update on my paranormal experiences. So this week has been a whole lot different and more intense. I think like about five weeks ago I was home and my parents were going out shopping. I knew my mom was still in the apartment doing the list of groceries but I never heard her say okay bye I'm going out. So I was minding my own business changing in the bathroom when I swear to god someone opened the door and slightly opened it and my heart was beating so hard but I continued to change while shivering because I was so scared. When I had the guts to come out of the bathroom, I thought someone was in my apartment, but no one was. And I thought it was my mother, but she wasn't there. By the way, my mom had like at least three miscarriages and I knew their spirits were in my home, but I doubt that it would be them. I don't know the history over my whole apartment complex, but it's crazy to think about it. Another experience I had is when I was home alone again. I keep having that feeling that there's a presence that someone is with me, but I'm still kind of traumatized about that incident so I feel uncomfortable being home alone. But I have to do chores so I do my chores and I'm always hearing whispering, which creeps me the hell out honestly, but it's like the voices of a woman. So I continue to do my chores quickly because I want to be on my device to take out the fact that some spirits are with me and keep in mind the paranormal stuff happens when I'm alone. My last experience I have for this week is stuff falling on its own, but this time I was with my mother and little sister and the broom fell. And keep in mind the broom was placed correctly so there couldn't have been a way for the broom to fall on its own. And even though I have that presence that is with me, I always feel someone touching me which is annoying, honestly, but I keep dealing with it. That's all for this week, lol. Let's see if I experience more creepy stuff, but yeah. Thank you so much for putting my last story on your video, and hopefully you put this one too. By the way, you're also one of my favorite YouTubers. Anyways, God bless. Thank you so much, girl. I am honored to be one of your favorite YouTubers. That is so sweet of you to say, and I don't know how you deal with any of that because because you said you were dealing with it so you're just braver than I would ever be in that situation honestly and you should probably try to look into the history of your apartment complex because there has to be some sort of um, record of what could have happened in your apartment complex maybe it's throughout all of the different ones or maybe it's just in the one that you live in like the actual apartment itself so who knows what you could find maybe there's an explanation for all of this paranormal activity that you experience because as for the miscarriages i don't know anything about you know potential spirits from a fetus or anything like that but it could be possible you never know in this world there's a lot of possibilities but anyway i did enjoy your video and thank you your video why do i keep saying video i did enjoy your story and thank you again so much for sending it in all right so last one that we're going to do today because she includes three stories in her email and this is going to be story number four and this one is sent in to me by Alyssa christmas is that really your last name because i love it and my foot is asleep again, so I'm slowly falling back. 
<laughs> okay. It says, Hey girl, I have a few stories in no particular order that I wanted to share. When I was about four to five years old, my mother and her best friend at the time came to pick me and her daughter up from daycare one day. As we were walking towards our house, I happened to look into the bathroom window where I see a man's face that looked like my father. He wasn't around at the time. He lived about nine hours away. As I was about to tell my mom, her and her friend gasped and told us to stay right there as they went to check the house to make sure nobody broke in. We all seen the face, and years later, my mom told me she believes it was my great-grandfather who I never met. He died when I was about two months old. That is so creepy. So your great-grandfather on your dad's side, I'm guessing, because he would probably look a lot like your dad. That is super creepy. And the fact that you all collectively saw it, because it's always like only one person sees it, and then you'll point it out and then it won't be there anymore and you'll be like meh <laughs> basically so that is that is creepy as hell all right so her second story says one night my friends and i decided to go to the bar i live in canada and it never and it gets extremely cold in the winter which is important to the story it was around 3 30 a.m when our ride dropped me my friend and my friend's mom off he had to go back to get our other friends because he only had a four-seater car. I happened to look towards my dad's house, which was three houses down from where we were standing. The back of his house was facing towards us. I looked over and I saw a little boy standing near the shed who looked to be about seven to nine. I was trying to adjust my eyes because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I told my friends, hey, do you guys see that little boy? and they were just as shocked as I was. My friends started running towards him to see if he was okay and why he was standing out in the cold at 3.30 a.m. As my friend was running, the boy ran fast as fuck, faster than the speed of light, lol. He turned the corner and was gone. We all freaked the hell out and booked it into the house. That is so scary. I mean, it could have possibly been just a little boy that was just standing there and like maybe he like ran away from home or something and he didn't want anyone to catch him, but no, because he did say he was running super fast and I don't, just don't think it's possible. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. It's not possible for a little boy to run fast as light, so at the speed of light is what you said specifically. but. That is a super creepy one, and again, you weren't the only one who saw it, so that makes it even scarier because it just validates things because when you just see it by yourself, you can kind of just brush it off and it's really easy to ignore, just be like, uh, I'm seeing things, I'm just gonna ignore whatever that was, but yeah, super creepy. Alright, and then story number three. Recently at my mother's house, strange things have been happening. One day, I was babysitting my younger siblings, two brothers and one sister. My two brothers went outside to play in the snow. My sister was in her room, which is near the living room. Nothing was on in the house. All the TVs were off. As my brothers were coming back in, they were, they were talking and laughing when I heard a third voice talking loudly over them. My sister and I both at the same time said, Oh, is Michael with you guys? They both came in the living room looking at us confused. My sister and I both heard another boy with them. My brothers, however, never heard anything. A few days after that, my brother and I were sitting in the kitchen at the table when we both heard a growl. My mom has no animals, and we both booked it into her room. LOL. These are just some of the crazy stories I have. I'll send some more in another time. Love your channel, girl. Much love from Nova Scotia. That, those were awesome. It's very scary. And I don't think, the only thing I was like, hold on, let me look back real quick. Okay, the only thing we didn't address in the story was, who's Michael? Is that like one of their friends or something? Or like somebody older that could have been with your brothers? That is the only question I have for that story and I would love to hear more stories from you girl because those were really creepy and there's just something very ominous about just being like 
you know minding your own business and just having a good time and then having experience some kind of like scary thing happen to you like just hearing a voice or hearing a growl that is so terrifying i don't even know how i would begin to process that honestly i would most likely as i always do kind of just ignore it and just be like no there's gotta be an explanation <laughs> but yeah and yeah shout out to canada never been there but i would like to go someday but okay guys that is going to be the last story for this video i am as always trying to slowly put these out and i only do a few stories at a time. I sound like a broken record because I always have to explain that I don't have very many stories in my inbox so I kind of have to spread them out like butter. So yeah, I do hope that you guys enjoyed those spooky stories. As always, I appreciate every single one of you who sends them in. Let me know what you guys thought about these stories in the comments below. And also just keep in mind that these are videos sent in to me by my subscribers so make sure that you are being nice in the comments below because I'm pretty sure they're going to be reading those comments as well but I mean I've never really had an issue with anyone leaving mean comments about any of the stories so yeah anyway before I do end today's video the comment shout out goes to this person right here thank you so much for leaving a nice comment I really do appreciate it and it always really makes my day and if you want to be the next comment shout out all you have to do is leave a nice comment down below of course and that's it now with that being said Said. thank you so much for making it all the way to the end of the video and just for watching this video in general i really do appreciate every single one of you and i love you guys hopefully i will see you in my next one don't forget to stay safe and be kind Bye bye